751 Fairfax, the home of Cherokee Studios. This unassuming looking building in Hollywood has probably been a part of your life and you don't know it. It's a staple in music's past. And I know that when Elton John was working here, he, I think, came in to do one thing and ended up staying and writing a whole album on the piano. And when he was finished, he told them, you know, I've never written like this before. Sinatra recorded here. Led Zeppelin. Bob Seger. Literally a who's who of music. And at the helm is legendary producer and owner of Cherokee, Bruce Robb, and his two brothers. Well, there was a period we had five studios, and all five studios would have two acts a day. In Studio One, you'd have Rod Stewart in the daytime and David Bowie at night. And so it was, it was amazing. It was just quite a trip. That I thought I'd never feel. When you walk in and play in a place like this, it's, you can't help but be motivated. Look at this place, it's unbelievable. You know, old school, baby, old school. Recording is tough and sometimes very tedious. Wait, I see you're 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 late. You want to hit take. Okay. Not right. After take. That's way too heavy at the end. The end is like light. It's me playing. You so right. Don't start conducting me, brother. Let's go. We'll try one more time. And sometimes they're not on the same page. Bruce is loving this one. Oh, no. oh, no. For some reason, they stop. Damn, that was a good one. But everyone is proud of the end result. Find me to the heart of the matter. To heal me when I'm broken and cold. Stitch me when the world rips me open. So The Billman Brothers are not only recording a new album, they're also recording for a major motion picture. Well, he must have had faith in the fact that we could produce songs that were going to go in the movie, and that's great, because I'm into that. That's been a long, lifelong dream of mine to have songs and music in movies, so. Well, I gotta say, man, I, I think that the stars are lining up for the old Billman Brothers, because uh, I am not just saying this, I honestly believe I think it's our best record it's going to be our best record, songwriting. Back home in northern Michigan, they have a lot of local support. Plenty of people who want to see them make it. It's very exciting because it could turn into something huge, and I, I hope and pray that it does because uh, those guys, are they work so hard and they're so professional. So I could see them filling the Palace of Auburn Hills. I could see them touring nationally. I mean, I watch award shows, and nobody's got anything on those guys. They, they've got it. they got the whole package. This has been just the best two weeks of my life. We're actually thinking about naming the record, you know, 751 Fairfax, which is uh, the address here at the studio. On September 1st, Cherokee Studios was torn down. The Billman Brothers were the last to ever record an album there. Bruce has started a new label and a new vision, quarter to three records. Jabo and Scott are a big part of that vision. As a good friend of mine, Steve Cropper, once said, damn them boys can play. And I'll tell you, that's the way to put it. They, they really can. They're, they're great, great players, and they've got, uh, they got a sense of feel, and they got soul. They're, they're definitely contenders. They're, they can make records as long as they want. It leads me to a better day now.